سلام بچه من فیزی هم و خوش اومدیم به یه انیمیشن ترسانی دارکانی بیر دیگه بریم که داشته باشیم Last Monday, when I came back from school, I'm an introvert who has no social life and no friends either. So as usual, when I came back, I got myself some light snacks and got hooked on watching anime. I was so engrossed in it that I didn't notice when it became dark. I was quite bored of watching, so I decided to try something different for once. All my classmates were talking about watching various videos up on the dark web, so I thought to myself, why not? I had no clue about how I may access it, which is why I searched up on Google. I learned that regular browsers couldn't access dark web websites. I needed to download a certain browser that was undetectable from search engines and offers users complete anonymity while surfing the web. Some websites suggested using VPNs while surfing to hide my IP address, and I thought it was wise to do so. As VPN is so damn important, but I think that we dark web because we are as VPN is so damn important, but I think that we are YouTube videos, for example, man on the corner. I downloaded the suggested browser and started scrolling mm -hmm. randomly. I found certain people who had posted videos titled in extremely unsettling words. There were certain forums such as the cannibalistic forum, which was about eating people and being eaten by people. Some members even chatted in a arranged meetups there to eat each other like, I need someone to eat my fresh meat. I am juicy and tender. I then found a site that was about a woman who couldn't deal with the fact that her babies had been stillborn. It was filled with pictures of dead fetuses dressed up and placed in baby cots. I dug in deeper. My curiosity had gotten the best of me. Disturbing images and videos played before my eyes. I then realized that it was legitimate child porn and rape and torture content and it was all over the dark web. It was terrifying. They had live cams too. This was all too much for me. I wanted to stop right away but instead I scrolled unconsciously. Chat rooms of various titles that had unsettling words such as I was curious, so I clicked on one. The live stream opened up. It was a dark room, and there was a guy tied to a chair in the middle. Beside the chair was a table. It had various items on it, ranging from weapons to tools like hammers and axes. I didn't know what was going on until a man appeared in a mask. It looked like the mask that doctors wore in the plague, with a long beak crows. In his hand, he held a blood-stained knife. <clears throat> it was then that I noticed carefully that the man who was tied was hurt. He was bleeding and his wrists had deep cuts on them. His blood dripped drop by drop into the small pools of blood at his sides. Should I finish him? In a strange voice. It sounded as if he was using a voice changer to deepen his voice. Was this a stage show? I wondered. I looked at the comment section. Everyone was telling him to finish him. There were comments which were extremely brutal like, shoot him in the head, put him in boiling water. But most of the people wanted him to use the axe on the guy. I saw the masked man pick up the heavy axe. My body froze as he raised it above his head and brought it down on the guy who was tied up. The axe got stuck in his head and there was a shower of blood spraying out of it. The man was presumably dead, yet the one with the axe made his organs spill out into his lap. I actually saw his guts flowing out of him. I was frozen in place, unable to move a finger. I then realized that I had just seen a man get killed. I felt sick and closed the stream. I regretted that I clicked on it. I wanted to close the tab, but it wouldn't close. Instead, it redirected me to another page where there were layer to begin to press the power button. Then there a beat and a notification popped out of nowhere, which said, we see you. Finally, my laptop shut down. It had been there three days since then, and I couldn't help but look over every now and again. One night, while I was trying to sleep, my phone buzzed, and I grumpily checked who it was at that time of night. It was a message. It was a video of me. A video of me asleep in the exact same clothes I was in right now. I was frozen in place and couldn't breathe. Then came the sound. From right beside my bed, heavy footsteps went running out in the hallway and eventually faded. Startled, I got up and flipped the lights on. My heart raced and my bundle rushing through my veins. I was scared to death because someone had been standing right beside my bed while I slept unaware. I heard and grabbed my phone from where it had fallen. Quickly dialing 911, 
outside to see who it was. There weren't any signals and I had zero bars. Frustrated and scared, I ran outside, conscious of the other person, sneaking my way to the lounge. I picked up the telephone as quietly as I could, but all in vain. It was dead. The wire had... I had never seen it before in my life. What do you want? I shouted at the top of my lungs, half angry and half scared to death. Someone grabbed me by my hair and started dragging me. I screamed in agony and told him to let me go. He was huge and I was thin and weak. I stood no chance. He dragged me towards the basement and ruthlessly dragged me down the steps that broke every bone in my body. He threw me on the floor, my head hitting it violently. I blacked out for a on all the lights in the basement. Oh, 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 Durbin was a show and Joe, I don't know how to live a scene better, but I got in refugee. That's when I knew who he was. It was a dark web video that he was shooting. Let, let me go. Please. He didn't give me time to finish before he slapped my face. He went and got a brick from beside the washing machine and hit it with all his might so loudly. I screamed so loud, I'm sure anyone who was awake at the time would have heard me. To stop me from screaming, he hit me for my throat. Loud sounds could be heard upstairs, and two police officers came running down with guns, seizing the intruder. Apparently, some of the neighbors had heard strange sounds from my house and called for help. I was barely breathing, and the world grew darker. I woke up in a hospital. Turns out, the intruder was in fact the psycho serial killer they had been searching for. I was the only victim who escaped his wrath alive. I would have ended up on the dark web dead. هر جایی به نظر من شما اگه دارین زندگی می‌کنید حتما یه جایی باشه که دور تا دورش چند همسایه قابل اطمینان داشته باشه. بچه ویدیوهایی که داره به شما پیشنهاد داده میشه حتما روی یکیشون کلیک کنید چون ویدیوهای بسیار عالیه این و به نظر من یکی از این ویدیوها رو حتما ببینید. و چنل من سابسکرایب کنید اگه اگه تا اینجا این ویدیو نکردید. لایک و سابسکرایب یادتون نره فسفن برای همیشه.